Uh, good evening, everybody, and uh, welcome to uh, tonight's event, um, part of uh, the uh, the VHS uh, Together Awards Week. At, uh, um, um, this uh, this evening's event has been recorded, so um, you know it can be, we will be posting uh, tonight's event on our various uh, social media pages and be available uh, internally across the organisation. To, uh, to for those who can't uh, make tonight's attendance, uh, I'm delighted to um, to be able to host this evening's event and, and be involved with later on in some of the awards. Uh, the Bear Just Together Week is a culmination of a year's work of hard effort across our various locations as we celebrate uh, outstanding achievement of green uh, staff in a range of uh, research and, and other uh, uh, other awards. Uh, my name is Mel Fraser. I'm the Chief Executive, uh, the Interim Chief Executive Officer of Grant Health. It's my very great pleasure to welcome you here this evening. Um, I would acknowledge that we are meeting, that I'm, meeting, I'm on the, the lands of a lot of people. I pay my respects to the elders past, present, and emerging. And uh, clearly, uh, anybody on the call today who uh, identifies as an Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander, we are certainly very welcome. I pay my respects to you as my director. I would like to uh, to welcome and acknowledge the, the various Grantham's Health Directors we have with us this evening. This is uh, one of the first events that uh, Grantham's Health has hosted, so I'm so delighted that so many of the directors have been able to make it uh, online tonight, uh, as well as the various nominees and the award recipients. Um, uh, the, the level of um, professionalism and, and uh, expertise that you have constantly demonstrated across the various areas throughout the, uh, the most difficult times in you know, Anybody's living memory, I think, in terms of health, at least, I really stand you uh, out as uh, as a class act, and I certainly would acknowledge uh, your efforts as such. Uh, these awards um, uh, this week, and, and we had a very uh, great uh, fortune this morning to uh, to do um, some service awards, some 150 staff with um, uh, 20 uh, to 45 years of service. Another 150 staff will be identified on Thursday with a similar range of service, you know, um, and uh, our values awards tomorrow. These, these are great um, examples of uh, the, the, the tremendous commitment that staff make every day, not only to the, uh, to the organisation, but to their profession and their careers. Uh, and I, I just would take a moment to acknowledge and thank everybody for the commitment you've made, not only to the, the medical profession, the nursing profession, the mental health profession, but to the broader community of Grampians as well. Um, you are our future leaders, and uh, the work that you do every single day making a fundamental difference to the care of our, our, our community. Uh, as we are hosting this via Teams, I would invite anybody, if you wish to, to, to post comments and congratulate the various award recipients as we go through this evening. Uh, there are various sort of emoji functions and buttons, and you know, don't, don't be shy. And, in uh, singing out somebody's praise and uh, and celebrating genuinely with those that have been involved in working nice tonight. There is truly some amazing stories we tell tonight, and I'm certainly um, delighted that we are able to put this process um, at the start. To commence the awards, I would like to invite uh, Mr. Matthew Hadfield, uh, Interim Chief Medical Officer, uh, to introduce the Interim Professionalism Award for 2021. Matthew. Thank you, Dale. Um, we've received um, a very pleasing response to our call for nominations for the Intern Professionalism Awards uh, this year, and we have seen uh, many people stepping up in what has been another very, very unconventional year. It's been difficult to pick clear winners as the standard has really been so high with very positive feedback across a, very, a huge range of areas. The, the 2021 BHS Intern Professionalism Award was worked using nominations from the senior medical staff that reflect demonstration of the BHS values, feedback from other clinical staff that work closely with the interns and consideration of additional contributions made by the intern to the hospital, their profession, their career development and their colleagues throughout the entire intern year. So we are 
pleased to present the two Intern Professionalism Awards to the following recipients. First, Dr. Samantha Yip. Uh, Samantha was described as quietly efficient, reliable and an exceptional team player who has well-developed clinical skills and is already performing at the level of an excellent HMO. She has good patient rapport, consistently provides clinical handover and makes work easier for all her team. Congratulations and well done, Samantha. The second uh, intern award, Dr. Michael Duff. Michael was noted as having strong accountability for his work and for being very patient centered, always providing information in a knowledgeable and detailed manner. He was described as having a great attitude and always being positive and willing to do that extra. It was commented that he has the ability to brighten people's day in a cheeky yet respectful manner and backed up with a true team spirit. Solid clinical stills and a genuine like of patients. He would step up when asked and worked hard. So congratulations and well done, Michael. So I'd like to introduce these two young doctors to you. First, I'd like to introduce Samantha Yip to accept her award. Samantha. Hi, I'm really thankful to be uh, nominated for this award and I've had such a great experience working at DHS and I'm so excited to continue and come back in future to work with everyone. Yeah, thank you, Samantha, and, and congratulations and very well, well done again from all of us and from me. Um, and I'd now like to invite Michael to accept his reward. Uh, thank you, Dr. Hadfield, and uh, thank you to everyone who nominated me from, for this award. I'm very humbled and honoured to be accepting it. Um, there are so many other great interns that I've worked with this year who are equally, if not more, deserving of this award than me. Um, but it's not just the interns that I'd like to thank. It's obviously everyone else in the, in the hospital that's made such a great year. Um, that's the nursing staff, the allied healthcare workers, the ward clerks and the senior medical staff. Um, yes, as you were saying, it's been difficult coming in as interns this year. We really came into the deep end, um, especially with coronavirus. But uh, like some mice that fell into buckets of cream, we've all worked together and churned that cream into butter and, and crawled out. Um, so I'm really proud of all of my co-interns that I've worked with this year. We banded together and have looked after each other um, and it's made it such a great place to work and such an easy place to, uh, easy decision to stay on for next year as well. So I'm really looking forward to next year. So thanks once again um, for everyone that I've worked with this year. Yeah, thank you and congratulations again, Michael. And actually, I'd just like to say to all of you, the whole intern year, I'm really proud of the way you pulled together this year. It's been such a difficult year. And you've been a fantastic bunch and you've contributed so much to this organization so well done all of you um i'd like to continue now to announce the winners of, of the bhs research award for this year the BHS, bhs research awards are an excellent opportunity to recognize the significant impact that our research and innovation has on the organization but also on our community so this year's research award goes to the project entitled Addressing Knowledge Gaps for Virtual Delivery of Rural Community-Based Group Programs, Rapid Integrated Knowledge Translation During the COVID-19 Pandemic. So this project involved collaboration of researchers and staff from BHS, Deakin University, the University of Melbourne, Barwon Health, La Trobe University and the Australian Catholic University and was led by Associate Professor Anna wong Shi, Jacqueline Bishop, and Claire Quilliam. It engaged researchers and allied health professionals in our region to identify evidence for the delivery of community-based group programs via virtual technology. A co-production method called integrated knowledge translation was utilized and the evaluation demonstrated that researchers and allied health professionals can work effectively and rapidly together to address time sensitive need for health service redesign. And I'd like to introduce Associate Professor Anna wong Shi on behalf of her whole team to accept the award. Anna. Thank you, Matthew. And thanks for saying the name of the project so that I don't have to say it. I know it's a whopper of a name of a project. Um, and I'm really pleased to be, to, um, be able to accept this award on behalf of our team 
um, Jacqueline Bishop, who unfortunately is travelling between Ararat and um, Ballarat and has no internet and can't connect in. She would have liked to have been here. And um, Dr. Claire um, Quilliam, Quilliam, who's here on the line now joining us, which is fantastic to have you here. Um, I'd also like to acknowledge the broader team that worked on this project um, in developing the rapid review. So we had Hannah Betts and Olivia King who led the rapid review and we had um, a whole network of researchers and clinicians, as you said, from Ballot Health Services, Barwon Health, Colac Area Health and from all of the um, universities. So it was fantastic to bring all those people together um, and not only build on the networks that we have, but um, just create new um, relationships and further, the, um, further networks from that work. Um, I'd really like to thank BHS because uh, the support that they're showing for research and the way that we've been able to grow it over the last, you know, four or five years has been amazing. And special thanks to Craig Wilding um, for his support of allied health research. And we've just seen our teams go from strength to strength to strength, and, and that's many thanks to Craig. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks so much, uh, Anna, and, and congratulations to the whole team again. It is just great to see research that's focused on our region and isn't it proves that research isn't just a metropolitan, large metropolitan centre um, thing, and, and we need more of these type of projects to enhance care for the patients in our region. Uh, I would now like to hand over to our Executive Director of Primary and Community Care, Craig Wilding, and he will introduce the Allied Health Awards. Craig? Thank you, Matthew. And first of all, thank you, Anna. It's slightly embarrassed uh, in me there. Um, and too much congratulations my way. Fantastic team doing an outstanding job. Uh, this year we have three Allied Health Awards to recognise the contributions of our incredible teams. The first award I'd like to present is the Excellence in Allied Health Early Career Award. This award recognises the outstanding performance of an Allied Health clinician early in their career. This year, there are five nominees for the Allied Health Early Career Awards. They are Matthew Bolton, Sally Cameron, Caitlin Gervasoni, Pete Gray and Roxanne Lewis, a Lucas. The selection criteria for this category are for team members who consistently demonstrate the behaviours that reflect the BHS values of teamwork, compassion and respect. The person who receives this award also holds themselves accountable for safe, evidence-based, person-centred care. I'm very proud to announce this year's Allied Health Early Career Award winner is Caitlin Gervasoni. Caitlin is a speech pathologist and has been described as the first person to jump in and help out her teammates despite her own heavy workload. Caitlin's recent appointments to two grade two positions in subacute and then in acute was in recognition for all the positive behaviours, habits and general departmental improvements she has brought to her teams. Caitlin is an extremely popular member of the team and is a very deserving winner of this award. I would now like to invite, invite Caitlin to accept this award and say a few words. Thank you so much, Craig. I'm really humbled to receive the Early Career Allied Health Award this evening. Um, as we all know, 2021 has been fraught with a lot of challenges in public health, and I know all our allied health colleagues and especially our speech pathology team have really felt the challenge of working with reduced staffing over a long period of time this year. And though at times this has been difficult, it's also led to a lot of opportunities for me to step up and make a difference in both our team and for our patient care. And for that, I'm really grateful. I love what I do and every day I strive to learn from my patients and colleagues and incorporate evidence-based practice into my work. I'd love to take this opportunity to acknowledge my wonderful speech team and my manager, but especially my seniors, Bron Rademacher, Ellie Orr and Kelly Griffin, who have helped lead the way for me over this past year and who I've, who I've learned so much from in these early stages of my career. I'd also love to recognise our Greater Allied Health team. It's always a pleasure to work with all of you every day and I really enjoy being a part of the Allied Health team here at BHS. This award means a lot and I know there are many worthy recipients of it, so thank you very much for this recognition. Thanks and congratulations, Caitlin. The next award I'd like to present is the Excellence in Allied Health Clinical Leadership Award. This award recognises an allied health clinical leader who drives high quality evidence based practice in their area. The nominees for this year's award are Georgie Doherty, Luke Evans, Kelly Griffin, Ali Orr, Bronwyn Rademacher, 
and Theresa Williams. These people have been nominated because they meet the criteria of ensuring that care provided in their area is respectful of and responsive to individual patient preferences, needs and ensures that the patients guide their own clinical decisions. This year we are awarding two Excellence in Allied Health Clinical Leadership Awards. Our award recipients for 2021 are Kelly Griffin and Georgie Doherty. Kelly is a speech pathologist who maintains high quality patient centred care collaborating with colleagues, benching, benchmarking across other services, listening to our patients and their particular needs and advocating for them. Kelly communicates effectively with all team members and her patients, building trust and rapport. Kelly is practical, resourceful, reliable, approachable for both patients and clinicians. Georgie is an occupational therapist whose knowledge and client-centred approach is evident with a significant amount of client feedback regarding her capacity to enable the client to return home and improve their in independency. Georgie is a keen advocate for all her patients, often liaising on their behalf for increased services and therapy at home via the NDIS or community therapy. So firstly, I'd like to invite Kelly to accept her award and say a few words. Thanks, Craig. Um, Congratulations, Georgie. I'm a bit overwhelmed, so hopefully you've got time to pull yourself um, together. Um, but very um, overwhelmed with this award. Thank you. Uh, uh, so it's somewhat as an honour, as I stand amongst some incredible and equally deserving nominees. So congratulations for your nominations. Uh, to be acknowledged in this way is uh, purely a reflection of the incredible teams I work with every day. Allied Health Clinicians, Allied Health Assistants, Program Assistants, the broader medical nursing and support teams, I hold you all in the highest regard and have great appreciation for what you contribute. Um, it's an absolute privilege for me to work with you and be considered a leader within. I would like to thank the patients who enable me to engage with them and be part of their story. Typically, it's not an experience they have chosen um, and the opportunity to be part of their healthcare is a really humbling experience. Thank you to my managers, Georgie and Akushla, for the opportunities and trust they place in me to perform in my roles. Um, and lastly, I want to thank my husband and three children who back me to turn up at work each week and enable me to share my energy with Ballarat Health Services. I'm really grateful for them. Congratulations to all the award recipients throughout this entire week. It's an absolute honour to be placed amongst you and I can only feel excited for what Ballarat Health Services future holds as we evolve into a part of Grampians Health. Thank you. Congratulations, Kelly, and uh, well spoken to. Uh, I, I now welcome uh, Georgie to accept her award and say a few words. Sorry, Craig, can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Okay, beautiful. Um, similar to Kelly, I just wanted to say that I'm incredibly humbled to receive this award within such an amazing allied health team. Um, very grateful to receive the recognition in terms of all the hard work that we do, but it's not it's not just the work of, of myself, but obviously the amazing teams that I work in. Um, so I guess I would really like to acknowledge the, the OT team um, and the incredible work that we do in terms of supporting patients to achieve their functional independence and um, exit the health system, but also in particular the amazing team down on the inpatient rehab work uh, ward, I should say, and all the collaborative work that we do together um, to optimise outcomes for our clients. Um, I'd also like to thank um, OT management uh, as well as the management of the broad allied health team who've supported and enabled me to continue with some further study in recent years, which I think has really reignited my passion for providing quality evidence-based client-centred care. So it's just really nice to, to have this opportunity to recognise all the great work that we do as a, as a broader team. Congratulations, uh, Georgie, and thank you. Um, our third and final award in the Allied Health category is for Team Spirit, the Allied Health Teamwork Award. This is given to someone who embodies the essence of teamwork. We have had an overwhelming number of nominations for the Team Spirit Award this year, which is a great reflection on how we have all worked together, particularly as they are all nominated by their colleagues. Our nominees are Melinda Firth, Renee Kelly, Karen Pingali, 
Bronwyn Rademacher, Tanya Sherritt, Joyce Petiri and Bryony Stevens. This year's winner is someone who pitches in to help others for the betterment of the team, exhibits flexibility and grace under pressure, shows commitment to their team over themselves and treats everyone with respect and compassion. Our 2021 Allied Health Team Award goes to Joyce Petiri. Joy's worked in multiple areas across Ballarat Health Services. Joy's team focus, generous with her time, shares her knowledge and regularly contributes to the health and well-being of the Allied Health team, proactively actioning what is needed to improve all areas and conditions on a weekly basis. I'd like to welcome Joy to accept her award and say a few words. Um, thank you, Craig. Can you hear me? I can hear you, yes. Thank you. Um, just feeling a bit overwhelmed, really. Um, very honoured to receive this award. Um, working in such a great team, um, I feel honoured every day. Um, it's it's just floored me that I have actually won, really. <laughs> um, just to be nominated is, is such an honour um, to see all these clinicians um, uh, who I work with every day um, include me and value my my opinion and and um, everybody's opinion is is really good and so um, I just want to say thank you very much. Congratulations Joy. Um, that's it for Allied Health Awards I'd, uh, and congratulations to all the nominees and uh, thank you to all the winners. I'd uh, now like to hand over to our Chief Nursing and Midwifery Officer for the Nursing and Midwifery Awards, Leanne Shea. Thank you. Thank you, Craig. <clears throat> Good evening, everyone. Each year we celebrate the work of our nurses and midwives and recognise the significant contribution they make to their professions and their teams and our community. And I think that once again, nurses and midwives have continued to show their agility and adaptability um, against all odds over the last 12 months and particularly the last two years. Um, managing what they do day in and day out. The first award I have the pleasure of presenting is the Excellence in Nursing and Midwifery Early Career Nurse Midwife Award. This award recognises the outstanding performance of a nurse or midwife who is early in their career and provides an excellent standard of practice and professionalism and is committed to providing safe, high quality care, which is evidence-based and person-centred. This person is an excellent role model and an advocate who contributes to the standards of nursing practice by promoting continuous improvement and positive patient, client or resident outcomes. Our Excellence in Nursing Midwifery Early Career Award recipient for 2021 is Samantha Brown. Samantha is an endorsed enrolled nurse in our inpatient rehab unit and I think it's also important to note that Samantha was also awarded the Trainee of the Year at the Victorian Trainee Awards this year and was a finalist in the Australian Trainee Awards. I'd like to ask Samantha to uh, say a few words and I believe she is online. Sorry everyone, it's a new laptop and I've been trying to work out how to use it. <laughs> Um, wow, thank you so much. I'm so honoured to have won this, even been nominated for this award, really. Um, just like everyone else, a bit of shock. Um, it's just thank you so much to BHS for the trainee program that's brought me to this career path and um, especially the inpatient rehab team. It's just been such a pleasure to work there and all the support to start my career has just been amazing. So thank you so much to everyone. Whew. Thanks, Samantha. Well done and well deserved. The next award I'd like to announce is for the Excellence in Clinical Leadership. This award recognises a registered nurse or midwife who has displayed clinical leadership within BHS, the professions and or the community. A registered nurse and midwife in this category is an excellent role model for nurses and midwives. They display leadership which significantly contributes to excellence in nursing and or midwifery practice and they are highly regarded and are seen as an emerging leader in their field. Our Excellence in Clinical Leadership Award this year goes to Eileen Davidson. Eileen's a clinical midwifery specialist in our maternity services. I'd like to introduce Eileen to say a few words if she is online. Um, 
not sure if Eileen is. Hello. Oh. Hi, Eileen. Great. Thank you so much. Um, firstly, I'd like to thank Marie, who I found out nominated me. Um, I was really quite surprised and humbled when I found out I was nominated. And honestly, I could probably rattle off a dozen names of um, colleagues who would definitely be worthy of this award also. So thank you so much. Um, a very big thanks to the whole of our maternity unit. Um, I work with a really great team and I think that I'm lucky in it that we, we're a multidisciplinary team where everyone has input into our clients' care. Um, and I genuinely love coming to work, which also helps a lot. So thank you so much. Congratulations. Well done, Eileen. Thank you. The next award um, is a team award for excellence in person-centred care. This award acknowledges nursing or midwifery-led teams who provide a service that benefits the patient, client, residents or community. The team works collaborative, collaboratively with patients, clients and residents, families, carers and or other health clinicians to provide evidence-based person-centred care, which continues contributes to improving the healthcare outcomes of our community. This year, the Excellence in Person Centre Care Award goes to our Central Allocations Unit. Our Central Allocations Unit is led by Annie and her team, and they provide in, an invaluable service to our organisation. Annie and the Casual Allocations team take great pride in the work that they do in recruiting and allocating staff across the clinical areas at Ballarat Health Services. And they are absolutely driven by the need to provide safe, connected, person-centred care and go above and beyond the call of duty every day, consistently demonstrating the values, values of the organisation. The casual allocations team are very deserving recipients of this award and I'd like to con congratulate Annie and her team and to ask Annie to accept the award on behalf of her team. Thank you, Leanne. Um, I am really, really proud to accept this award on, be on behalf of my fantastic team. Um, we are all ladies in our team, no guys, and um, the ladies work really hard. I am consistently so proud of the work that they do because we've had such a hard year. Um, we can never quite get to the, the level of allocation that we need to on a daily basis now but we still do um, the very best that we can. And so that that's by working together, you know, there are eight eight ladies um, and, and I make, sorry, there are nine ladies, including one casual girl who's absolutely amazing and myself. So 10 of us, very small EFT, and we manage over 500 staff and the girls work together, they communicate, they consistently support each other. And I'm just really proud of them. Thank you for this award. Congratulations, Annie, and to the Central Allocations team. Well Thank deserved. You. Before I hand back to Dale for the Quality Innovation Awards, I would also like to announce uh, the winner of our, or the recipient of our Nurse Practitioner Scholarship for 2021-22. The scholarship's an opportunity for Ballarat Health Services to build on and develop further nurse practitioner models of care across our organisation. And applicants for this scholarship are registered nurses who are commencing a master's program that will lead to their endorsement as a nurse practitioner. And the purpose of the, the scholarship is to assist them with expenses associated with postgraduate study. This year, I'm very excited to announce that the recipient of the Nurse Practitioner Scholarship is Sandra Anstis. Sandra is a credentialed diabetes educator in our services here at Ballarat. I'm not sure if Sandra is on the line. Um, if you are Sandra, step up and you can do your acceptance speech. I'm not sure she's yes. here. Is she here? Yeah, I am. Thanks, Hi, Leanne. Sandra. Go for it. Thanks so much, Leanne, and good evening, everyone. Um, this scholarship is is most unexpected, and I'm very pleased to accept this this evening. Thank you to all of those who are involved with the Nurse Practitioner Initiative and the development of the role across the organisation. I'd like to also acknowledge the diabetes team who support each other on a daily basis, caring for diabetes patients across the lifespan and within a range of settings. So thank you to the diabetes team. 
I hope to continue working towards endorsement and registration for nurse practitioner within the scope of diabetes and as a part of Grampians Health in 2022. Thank you very much. Thanks, Sandra. Well done. So that brings the nursing awards to a close. So congratulations to all of our winners in the nursing midwifery categories. I'm going to hand back to Dale now for the quality and innovation category awards. Uh, thanks, <coughs> thanks, Leanne, um, and congratulations to um, all the award recipients, for, you know, the Yellow Hill staff, the nursing staff, the medical staff. Such great recognition uh, for your, your efforts and certainly pleasing to see the, uh, the, the acknowledgement of your teams and, uh, and the various values that we take to the organisation. Uh, each year, Ballard Health Services recognises outstanding achievement and quality improvement and innovation that support our vision of excellence in healthcare, the improved service provision and patient outcome. These awards showcases the commitment and engagement of all staff to improve the quality and outcomes of the care and services that they provide. This year, there has been a particular focus on how staff have met uh, the VHS government's frameworks, focused on safe, effective, connected, patient centered care. This is a great opportunity to share the amazing quality of work done at the VHS over the past year, including uh, working with, uh, within the COVID 19 response environment. There are three award categories improvement improvement or innovation, support services improvement or innovation. And external partnership projects. The awards were judged against the following criteria, taking into consideration the nature of the project, how the activity links with the Virtuous Governance Frameworks, focus on safe, effective, committed, patient centered care, uh, the implementation of the activity, the results and the outcome of the activity, and the ability for the uh, activity to be able to be sustained as a change. I'm pleased to announce one highly committed and two winners of the quality awards in clinical improvement and innovation. Our medical director of the Grampians Public Health Unit, Associate Professor Rosemary Aldrich, and Operations Director Robin Wilson of Grampians Public Health Unit are highly committed to using innovative health protection strategies to contain COVID 19 in the government. And what an amazing job the uh, PHS, the Public Health Unit team, and the innovation and the uh, the uh, vaccination team is intensive things of government. Borough has done a remarkable job in this region. In 2021, the Grampians Public Health Unit has worked in partnership with the Indian VHS and the Grampians community to implement a mature, safe, effective, committed, and person centered public health approach to prevent the spread and containment of COVID 19. This public health approach has resulted in fewer cases in the community require and patients require inpatient care. Fewer families confined to home, children excluded from school, and less health staff, furlough, and less in the mental health impact on the community. We acknowledge the great work of our public health unit in keeping, uh, helping to keep our very safe over this challenging time. The first quality award in this study is given to Keith Miller and Holly Williamson for the improvement of the weekend physiotherapy and other health assistance service. On inpatient rehabilitation. The aim of this project was to implement and evaluate a pilot Saturday physiotherapy service on inpatient rehabilitation. The project succeeded in delivering additional treatment to patients and decreased the patient of stay in the pilot group. The Consumer and the Quality Awards Judging Panel described the project as simple, well founded, well evidenced, and patient approved change, which may lead to other services and value in the Congratulations to Keith. Our second quality award for the clinical improvement of, of innovation goes to Caitlin Bird, Rachel Fisher, Jay Dodgers, and Sandra Kruger for the implementation of home based cancer care service project. The aim of this project was to deliver person centered care to cancer patients by delivering cancer care in the. This project has resulted in the purchase of home team delivery. Home based cancer care to 27 patients between May and October this year. The trial has resulted in high patient satisfaction, increased, decreased patient travel time, decreased patient admissions, and the building of a workplace capability capacity. 
one of the amazing sort of projects of sense because uh, the, the future of our building to the right great kind of such a vast area that was never going to be. Uh, I'd now like to uh, um, invite Keith and Holly to accept the award first and just say a few words. Hi everyone, I hope you can hear me okay. I think Holly's online, are you there? Holly? I might fire away just while we're waiting yep. for her to come on. Um, right, yeah, to echo the sentiments of, of many, we didn't set out to win an award, but it's really humbling and a, a big honour to win one as a result of this great project. And um, and again, to echo the sentiments of many, it's uh, we're on, in the fortunate position to accept the award, but it's uh, worked by a big team that, that was uh, able to deliver a successful project. Um, so we might just share a couple of thank yous um, between us, if, if that's OK. Um, I'll start just by really thanking our, the sponsors of the project and they're also enthusiastic supporters of the project in the age ops area of the of BHS, particularly Jody Cranham and Meredith Theobald, who were really instrumental in, in, um, in getting the project off the ground. Um, I'd also like to um, give a shout out to Mick Sheehan from Finance. Um, who really played a really key role for us in terms of um, putting the data together and understanding um, where we're at in terms of a business case, but also the evaluation to be able to demonstrate the changes that we were able to, to implement or make as a, as a result of implementing the, the, the pilot project. Um, and I also wanted to give a, a, a really um, big recognition and a thank you to Emma Jackson, who was a senior physio on, on IRP prior to the project. And she, um, she uh, left the organisation before the project started, but she did a whole heap of work, really important work in, in doing a research, a review of the research and building the business case to get the project off the ground. Um, and also to, to Leone Lewis, the manager of Physio, who, who was really important in supporting the project the whole way through. Um, and then finally, another quick one from me, just to thank Holly. Um, I was in, in the fortunate position where I could sort of coordinate the, the start of the implementation of the project in, in some ways and also put the evaluation hat on. But Holly did, and, and Chris, her other senior physio on IRP, did all the really, you know, all that hard work in terms of implementing and engaging the team on IRP to get things rolling and, and without without their their support or their their uh, work, it, it wouldn't have been a success. So thanks, Holly, and I'll use that opportunity to hand it over to you. Thanks, Heath. Um, yeah, so I suppose, as Heath said, um, I feel a little bit guilty accepting the award on behalf of such a big team that's been involved um, in making this project happen and so successful. And Heath was such a big part of that. I felt like I got the easy job um, being able to engage the team. And I suppose that leads off with the thanks. The nursing team on the ward, I suppose, on IIP has been super supportive of the project the whole way along. Um, Lois and Di, who are a part of the After Hours Coordinator team, have been um, instrumental in helping us develop protocols and been super supportive to all the staff that are um, involved in the weekend project. Um, the whole physio team and the allied health assistant team that are involved on the weekends have been um, great. It's been such a smooth transition and um, hopefully is a really sustainable project, which is really exciting. Um, and lastly, the medical team and all the other members of the IRP team that have made it really successful. So thank you to everybody. Well, congratulations, Heath and Holly, and, and congratulations to the team that uh, has been you know, instrumental behind the scenes. So um, uh, great job over in the IRP space. Um, well done. I'd now like to invite Caitlin, uh, Rachel, uh, Jade and Sally to accept their award. Um, beautiful. I think. Can you hear me? Yep. It's beautiful. Um, firstly, I'd just like to congratulate everyone. It's genuinely really exciting to see um, all the innovation within BHS. Um, I, on behalf of many, feel very grateful for this recognition and I'm excited to expand this wonderful uh, cancer care service in the future. I've relished the challenges of this role and I'm extremely proud of the care we've been able to deliver. It is truly patient-centred. Um, I've received extensive support from Brick, and would like to specifically mention Rachel Hodges, Sue Bartlett, Robin McIntyre, Steve Brown and Steve Medwell, as well as the Greater Brick team. I'd also like to acknowledge and warmly thank Rachel Fishlock, Michelle Beale, Craig Wilding, the BHS at Home Leadership Group and the on-road nurses for welcoming me and 
for their enthusiasm and belief in this project. And finally, a huge thank you to Jade Odgers, Sally Kruger and Karen Higgins for their tireless work to assist in the implementation and growth of home-based cancer care. Thank you very much. And I'd just like to acknowledge Caitlin and her, all her work that she's done for VHS at Home. Her leadership, her clinical expertise, her positivity in the space has really made it successful. So congratulations, Caitlin. Well done. Well, you know, absolutely great job uh, to the team um, and such important work. Um, and, you know, um, I know this will make a substantial difference to the countless people countless number of people who don't have access to um, cancer care just down the road and, and bringing care to them in their local communities without the necessary, unnecessary travel is a massive step for our, for our, our consumer base. Um, in the support, support services improvement and innovation category, our panellists have uh, highly commended uh, Daniel Beermore, Sonia Beggs, Samantha Taylor and Peter Timms for their work on the RN EM Refresher Program. This project resulted in the implementation of a program for registered nurses and enrolled nurses who wish to either commence acute nursing practice, or transition into acute uh, nursing, or from another, from another area, or return to acute nursing after a break. As of July 21, 60 nurses have completed this program with a 75% retention rate, assisting the nursing workforce in a challenging time of high activity in the COVID-19 response. Congratulations to Daniil, Sonia, Samantha and Pua. I'm pleased to announce the quality award winners in this category for service support, service, support services improvement and innovation are Robin Fowler and Daniil Beermore for the work on the Burgess Consumer Participation Program. This program project aimed to increase consumer participation through throughout BHS through the development of a register of consumers able to link with opportunities for consumer participation in BHS. This program has resulted in a register of 33 consumers, a well-structured and supported program which has received positive evaluation from consumers and staff, and increased, and increased the work with consumers as partners across BHS, ensuring that the consumer's voice is centre to our development and service provision. I'd now like to introduce Robin and or Daniil to accept the award. We've got Robin here. Oh, thanks. Uh, thank you so much. I'm really humbled. And I'm actually really honoured and very lucky to do the work that I do. Um, and that's to be able to assist the consumers to have voices at all levels of the service. So I'm actually the lucky one to have this job. And thank you to Daniil especially Daniil for all the support through the last two years and also the CSI team as well. Thanks, Dale. Thanks, uh, Robin, and, and, and congratulations and again, great recognition um, for your work over, uh, over this project. And um, you know, uh, great to see, uh, see you. I haven't seen you around for a while. It, you, you've jumped over to the QE site, so um, come back sometime soon, right? Um, uh, finally, I would like to announce um, the External Partnerships Quality Award. Um, this award uh, is for the Partners Pharmacy, Pharmacy Medication Chartering Project by Renee, Renee Diamond and Ed Ritchie. Uh, this project uh, involved uh, BHS working with five regional health services as a, as a hub. Pretty cool. <laughs> to trial the PPMC. A partner pharmacist medication charting model developed by the Alfred Hospital. This model partnered on a medical team and a pharmacy to trial a pharmacist medication charting on admission of a patient to reduce the medication error um, and link the state of patients admitted to general medical units. The, pro the project trial resulted in um, error free medication charting and reduce patient length of stay. Uh, I'd like to introduce uh, Renee and or Ed to say, uh, to say a few words. Hello. Hi, everyone. I'm not sure if Ed's here, hopefully. Oh, hi, Ed. Uh, I'll go first. Um, thanks 
everyone. I'm really pleased and grateful for the recognition this brings to our clinical pharmacy team. Um, it was a whole team effort to support the introduction of, B, of PPMC at BHS. And we had many, many collaborators, some of which I'd like to mention. Um, so, of course, our PPMC credentialed pharmacists, Caitlin, Beck, Georgia and Nikki, who did a lot of the hard work. Um, Ed and Caitlin, who helped credential many, many pharmacists here and around the Grampians. Um, Brianna, who helped with our data collection, our ED pharmacists, as well as the ED doctors, nurses and the navigators. Of course, Ed and his general medicine team. Um, we had the steering committee members. We had executive support from Rosemary and Robin. Um, we had data analysts, health information, Sharon Sykes as well, and of course, Alfred Health and ICU. So it was a big, big um, effort to bring this to Ballarat Health Services. And I hope that we can ensure this workflow is sustained and becomes normal practice for us here at BHS and across the Grampians region. Um, I think we need to see this expand out to other medical teams and we need to see pharmacists doing this work with our medical colleagues at the time that admissions are coming through the door. Um, so it's not nine to five. Um, and I'd love to see our culture continue to change from why has the pharmacist charted these medicines to why hasn't the pharmacist charted these medicines for my patient. Um, over to you, Ed. I think, thank you, Renee. I think you summed it up beautifully. Um, it was a great, uh, great working with your team. We work together every day, but to work together on this quality improvement project um, <clears throat> was uh, yeah, a real pleasure. I think everything <clears throat> worked exactly, uh, was well prepared, so everything worked exactly as planned other than um, a few false starts with COVID. Um, particularly like to thank, I guess, from the pharmacy, Renee and Caitlin, um, Caitlin, who also who did most of the the hard work, um, and I guess from my team, the, the medical registrars were the ones who really had to embrace this. Um, and they're a big, diverse team of uh, some permanent BHS staff as well as uh, rotating staff from uh, Western Health and Royal Melbourne. So, uh, but I never heard a bad word about it. Actually, just uh, they hit the ground running um, and embraced it. Uh, right from the start and with every new rotation. I think that shows that this is a, a great project and a great innovation that will be sustainable into the future and something we should expand. Thank you, uh, Ed, and, and thank you, Renee, and uh, congratulations on the recognition and such an important project again. Medication errors are a major contributor to poor outcomes for patients uh, and uh, extended length of stays. And, you know, the uh, the work on that init this initiative is is um, set to make a big change to the way we provide optimal care in this organisation. Um, this brings uh, the awards ceremony to a close. Um, I would just again I'd like to take a moment just to acknowledge everyone that's been um, acknowledged tonight, uh, either uh, through being nominated, uh, highly commended, or awarded. Um, you, you've all made a substantial difference to uh, both your profession and to our community. Um, as well as the countless teams of staff that sit behind each of the projects today that you know that go on to support you, encourage you, to give you sort of um, ideas and inspiration. I think um, I genuinely would uh, you know um, sincerely thank them on everybody else's behalf. Um, we certainly have um, high expectations in this organisation to be a um, high quality. Um, research-informed uh, organisation and, and, and the work that we've made, the progress we've made over the last few years has been genuinely uh, outstanding. And tonight's a very um, a, a near showcase of some of the amazing talent and amazing uh, projects that we've done. So um, there's a very bright future for innovation and research in this organisation and I sincerely um, welcome everybody's involvement into the future for this. Um, a recording of this uh, event will be made available on our, both our Facebook and our YouTube our sites um, uh, uh, to enable those who couldn't make it here tonight to, to enjoy um, you know, the, and celebrate with the award recipients um, an opportunity for you to, to share with your colleagues as well. Um, again, just extend my uh, our most humblest congratulations to everybody who's been acknowledged tonight and to sincerely thank you on behalf of the communities to which you, um, you are providing great care. Thank you very, very much, and I do wish you all a very safe and good night. Thank you very much.